Hi guys, this is Jessamine of Jessamine Creates. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And today I'm showing you a different uh, blog. It's all about the second semester of school. And we are showing you, I am showing you uh, print, printing workshops and also some sculpturing. Uh, this is all my first time. So I just really like to document this one because it's, uh, you know, I want to keep it for the rest of my life. And in the future, maybe a reference for if maybe I would like to continue with this or not when I'm done with painting and sketching and drawing. So at first, um, there is a uh, wood printing, there is etching and lithograph. And then later on, we have sculpture. So it's, let's begin first with wood print. This is actually um, difficult things, I thought at first. And when I saw this on Instagram or somewhere, I thought it's, it just looks so satisfying to look at. But when I tried it myself, I don't really understand what I'm doing here. And the teacher said, you need to put, uh, you need to add first the white, the whitest value of your drawing. So I did, but I think I put too much white. I removed too much white on it. And the, the disadvantage of wood print, you cannot really add edited it if you over if it's already there you have to live with it if you have too light then then have too light values so like with this one with this round circle things there it's just for me too white but thank god i didn't put too much on it on too much with round things circle things because otherwise it's just over overdue again <laughs> and i didn't really like it and uh, i just have to continue it because i thought like you know i'm already here so i have to finish it so I added two tones on it, like a gradual, gradual thing, so from light to dark, and I really like it. And then afterwards, I added the background. It's get less uh, heavier, the drawing that uh, happened there, the white values because of that. So thank God I uh, added that background on it. It feels like it's a water thing. It's just in a, you know the background of a water or something like that. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, at the end I'm I'm okay with it. I'm happy. It's a first time so but I will definitely gonna try this again and hopefully next time I'm not gonna make the same mistakes again. So this thing is a very classical press print thing it's just so big but it's just so nice to do it because you know you're doing it like you know like the master did before so it's just nice to ex experience this kind of thing and i'm so happy that we are allowed to do these things because it's just very important to understand also a different methods of um, art um different way of different way of showing your art artistic uh, skills and this one is uh, etching on metal plate. And the teacher is uh, so good. He's so good and he explained it so well. And I, I really like him. He's, he's also a good um, illustrator. So I think I, re I already understand how this works. But it's just, again, another uh, way of sketching, printing. It's, again, different technique. But it's just um, if you listen and... Uh, if you just uh, and if you have the first experience with uh, wood print, you will understand this a little bit. But the nice thing with this is, um, oh yeah, oh, yeah this is also so fragile because it's metal. You need to be careful because uh, it's easily get scratch on it, and that scratch is literally your sketch. So if you have the scratch there that's not supposed to be there, it will show on your drawing. So again, you need to be careful with your hand. Always have a clean hands and nothing, no residues for something on it. But uh, I, I like the way of the process of sketching with this. It's just so satisfying because the metal, you don't really scratch directly on a metal plate, but you scratch more on a metal plate with a layer of wax. So every time you put a layer of sketch from light to dark. I hope you understand what I mean with that. You first do with light values and then you put it in a bath of water, like what you're doing here. And then uh, you wait it for like, uh, depends on how many uh, thick, how, how hard you sketch on your drawing. So if you sketch too hard, I think you... I think you waited for a long time. I, I, don't, I don't remember anymore. But yeah, if you're curious of how this works, it's uh, etching on metal plate. Maybe you can search it online. And every time you put some layers, you have to put it in a bed. So you start with light values. And then light values means you have to scratch it very light. And thick value means you have to scratch it harder. And every time you put it in a bath, the lines are getting more darker. So you don't really see it. But you will feel it. You will see it there somewhere. 
and then that's easier for you also to add another layers of drawing it's very satisfying i really uh, recommend to try this if you are if you feel like hatching if you like drawing this is a very nice thing to do because you do the nice thing with printing is that uh, classical web printing is um you don't really know what you're gonna get <laughs> until you do it until you print it so um yeah we're done with that first so we have a lunch and this is actually my normal lunch at school it's just so easy i know it's bad but i i always like when i have a long day i always like to have um warm lunch so i always eat dinner i always eat um, noodles when i'm on um on my lunch and here we are you are printing it again and um the teacher is uh, in instructing us what we're gonna get what what result we're gonna get anyway we already have some prints and here is the result i'm i sketch my uh, dog and okay we're done with uh, etching on metal plate now we go to lithograph this is not to say happen one day okay it is like every every week we have a different uh, workshop and i really like this one because the teacher is also so cool marika is so cool teacher and she's so friendly and she's so helpful and um uh, this is um little grab on stone so we have to is because the stone is thick and actually that's where you paint the sketch so i have to remove the old drawings there so that's why you see me there playing with my with stone scratching on the stone that's why i removing the old drawings for the new one and once the old drawing is gone i can already sketch on it in here i'm using um a special little pen to draw on it but it's also uh, mark the stone itself so it gives that markings and that markings will be your stamps so you have to I, like here i'm removing the wax layer from the pen the little grab pen and but you will see still some residues from it and that's actually your steps so that's creating a for creating a lines on the stone and then my teacher here is adding some ink on it on a layer and she said the first layer is always lighter but once you do the second layer it's getting more darker and darker and here you need to be careful uh, because um with a little grab you use a stone thick stone to make prints and that stone it's not one use, one time use. You always have to use it the next time. It's not so cheap, so you need to be careful that you don't break the stone. So you need to be careful. And uh, except for, uh, compared to uh, etching and wood cut, wood print, uh, the wood print and the metal, you have to keep it yourself and it's already there. And you can also display it the way it is. But this one, uh, once you're done with it, even though you have a beautiful work there, you have to remove it because you, it's, you're still gonna use it for the next drawing. So, and you don't have any copy of it. That's the problem here. That's a disadvantage here. You don't have any copy of your um, drawing. You only have a print. So it's also nice to make photograph of your drawing on stone. So that's why she also made photos of it. And here you need to be very careful, gently, and always pay attention to what you're doing because it can also damage the printing process as also the stone. So you see here, she removed the paper and then you see the sponge, yellow sponge there. It's she immediately uh, wet the surface of the stone because otherwise it will... It's not good for the stone, so you always have to keep it noisy once you do the printing. Except if you're not using the stone, okay? So, but here I'm printing all the time, so you have to wet every time you make a print. So here is the first test, and then I'm ready for my official print. And it's more thicker paper, and the paper was, I think, was also moisted, so it's not dry paper. I don't remember anymore. I forgot, but I think not. I don't know. <laughs> I think I mixed up everything already. And here is the print. You see, it's almost the same like the, the print and also the original. And here are my prints. That day, I think I made five or six, printing, and I'm happy with it. I give one to my to Stefan. I give two. I think to his parents. So after that, after that, uh, little grab, we have sculpture. That's happened on the same day, by the way. So the sculpture at first, honestly, I don't really like it. I know I'm not gonna like this one because it's putting too much pressure. And I know myself, I am very aggressive with this kind of thing. I really like it that I almost want to, you know, to destroy it. 
and I know I knew it that I'm not gonna make create something here as I'm gonna mess this up but honestly I really love it and this is even with clay which is a practice clay by the way they uh, brown clay but later on we try it with wax base uh, clay so this is the one we have you have to uh, scrape it and then you warm it with your hand and then you can form with it and now i understand why i don't like it because i thought like i'm gonna create it in one time form but it's actually you do it little by little so it's like um you know um drawing you also add muscle little by little not everything in one time so uh because i thought like i'm not gonna like it i didn't really expect that it's also gonna get a good feedback during the final presentation my teacher liked it and i was very shocked when he said that he likes this one because i thought like it's a mess it's like not a good one but now i know that uh grab a little grab or art print is gonna be my thing if i'm not liking painting or drawing things like that in the future i will go to this kind of medium kind of technique so yeah it's a good thing to try and i really enjoyed that three months of uh graphic and sculpturing and i'm definitely gonna do this again especially the wood print and also oh etching oh i love them all so <laughs> i can't choose that's it and i hope you like this a uh, different blog for today and if you don't follow my channel please follow me jasmine creates on youtube and also i'm on instagram jasmine creates and also jv to tiny's for my classical adventure have a nice day everyone and thank you for watching this bye